Hi everyone, Brendan Hodek here. Welcome to another episode of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. Like, today we're going to be breaking down Shaggy Rogers' voice from Scooby-Doo, man! Zoinks! Last episode, we broke down Scooby's voice, but we couldn't possibly do Scooby's voice without also breaking down the voice of his best friend, Shaggy. Scoob! Where are you, Scoob? Scoob, this isn't funny anymore! Let's break this voice down. Component number one, the vocal cords. There is a lot to pay attention to for this component. First, Shaggy has a bit of a higher pitched voice, almost as if you're getting close to the place where your voice wants to break into head voice or falsetto. Shaggy's voice also often has a great deal of compression. The voice isn't breathy, but sounds a bit tighter and constricted. That being said, the voice does often crack or break into a falsetto voice, especially when he is scared. Like, Scoob, where are you? There is also some distortion sometimes present in his voice. This is caused by having some vocal fry. Vocal fry is the cracking or popping sound you can make with your vocal cords. Uh, by combining the elements of high pitch, compression, cracking in and out of head voice, and having some vocal fry, it creates a bit of a strained and somewhat nervous sound to his voice. Like, I don't know man, I'm not nervous, I don't know what you mean man! Component number two, the larynx. We absolutely want to raise the larynx for Shaggy's voice. This will amplify the vocal cord qualities we discussed earlier. We want to not just allow the larynx to naturally rise, but we actually want to purposefully raise it a bit more than usual. When we do so, we are likely to get a little bit of twang. Twang, as we have talked about in past videos, is a particular coordination that tends to make the voice a bit brighter and have more of a squeezed quality to it. Be sure to utilize that twang. Component number three, the tongue. The tongue is not too important of a component for Shaggy. That being said, we do want to raise the back of the tongue. This will aid in creating some of that brightness that is present in his voice. Scoob, I think it's a ghost! Component number four, the soft palate. As you are seeing, all of the components thus far have contributed to the bright, squeezed or strained quality that Shaggy has. The soft palate is no different. We need to lower the soft palate and allow the voice to resonate within the nasal cavity. Component number five, articulation. The most important part of Shaggy's articulation is how he says some of his vowels. He often overdoes his vowels, Scoob, like Scoob man, stretching them out a bit longer than necessary. These vowel sounds can also often be made a bit more whiny than they normally would be said. Instead of saying man and like, he says man and like. One thing to note with vowels is that we have a few different ways to classify them. There are two types of vowels, known as monophthongs and diphthongs. Monophthongs mean that there is only one vowel sound, while diphthongs are two vowel sounds that slide together within one syllable. When Shaggy says man and like, we want to really accentuate the diphthong nature of these vowels. Let's not just say like, but like. Not just man, but man. Like man. Component number six, prosody. One way to describe the melodic and rhythmic changes in Shaggy's voice is that Shaggy typically sounds scared or paranoid. Therefore, his pitch is generally rising when he talks. We also want to make sure to often add in filler words in his sentences. The most popular of these being like, man, and zoinks. Like, Scoob, we totally gotta solve a mystery, man! Get in the mystery van! <laughs> I mean, like, the mystery machine! Let's recap. Component number one, the vocal cords! Raise the pitch, add compression, frequently break into falsetto, and utilize vocal fry. Component number two, the larynx! We want to significantly raise the larynx. Component number three, like, the tongue! 
Raise the back of the tongue to aid in creating the brightness of Shaggy's face. Component number four, the soft palate, man. Lower the soft palate to create some nasal resonance. Component number five, articulation. Stretch out his vowel sounds and accentuate the diphthong quality of certain vowels. Component number six, prosody. Make the pitch of the voice constantly rise, sound scared, paranoid, or nervous, and add in filler words. Like, thank you for watching New York Speech Coaching's Voice Breakdown, episode number 20, man. Totally be sure to like, check out future episodes of Voice Breakdown, the show where we teach you how to imitate some of the most iconic voices. Zoinks!